It's on you to be you. You're way too old to be acting brand new. You think you can't? But yes, you can too. I hear too many people saying it could never happen for me. Self-doubt. Low self-esteem. Way too many insecurities. And it's affecting your relationship. It's affecting your job. It's affecting you at school. It's affecting your business. It's affecting your overall mental health. Stop trying to fix yourself. You are not broken. Yeah, we all can learn. We all can grow. Sometimes we're all a little misguided. But we have to be comfortable in our own skin. See, the roadblock is you. And I need you to get out of your own way. I need you to get out of your own head. Every time you have a bright idea, every time something is going well, you start letting that self-doubt sneak in. That's the moment you have to change your thought process and do a mental shift. So when that self-doubt tries to creep in, that's when the positive you on the other side of your brain jumps right in and says, no, we're not thinking like that today. Yes, it can happen for you. Yes, it will happen for you. You can go to another level. You can be successful in business. You can have a successful relationship. You have to switch it, you have to flip it, you have to be on guard because that self-doubt, the devil is busy. But we all know the devil is a lie. So stop telling yourself that you can't do it. See, self-doubt is rooted in negative self-talk. So we're gonna get out of our own head and make sure the conversations that we're having with ourselves is positive. Yes, I can. Yes, I will. Yes, it will work for me. I'm going to get the job. Speak it into existence. But on the other hand, you are doubting yourself because you keep listening to what everybody else is telling you. You're no good. What makes you think that you can do that? He ain't gonna love you. She ain't gonna love you. They just using you. They planting all these seeds in your mind and you're accepting them and you're processing them and you're giving the exact same meaning that they're trying to give to them. So not only do you have to get out of your own head, you have to get them out of your head too. Because just because they say it does not make it fact. Never allow someone else's opinion of you to become your reality. People prey on those with low self-esteem and insecurities. So you have to stand up for yourself and say, no, what you say to me is not my reality. Block out the noise, get out of your own head, get them out of your head and start consistently telling yourself that you can, you will achieve, that it can happen for you, that you can be the best, that you are the best because you're not broken. We all need little tune-ups from time to time. We all can learn and grow each and every day. But there's absolutely no reason, I don't care what happened to you in your past, you can overcome it. But you have to find a way to stop letting self-doubt creep into your mental space. Be it from you, or be it from those around you. We overcoming self-doubt today. No self-doubt, no low self-esteem. We overcoming our insecurities because we are trying to win every day of our lives. And it's very, very difficult to win when you keep letting that self-doubt creep in. So no more self-doubt. Now do me a favor. No, no, no. Do yourself a favor. Go be great and elevate. And if this touched your spirit, if it touched your heart, if it touched your soul, please share. Because there are a lot of people out there that need to hear this.